Hello everyone, I'm Claire. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce you my hometown city. It's a city of China. Do you ever know Fujian province? It's in the southeast of China. Then, do you know what's the capital city of it? Is it the famous coastal city Xiamen? No, it's another beautiful coastal city, Fuzhou. In this video, I'm going to introduce it to you guys. I was born in this city and spent my 20 years here and I love this city so much. You may have already known some people from Fuzhou. Then are you curious about what's their city like? Let's move on to the introduction. Maybe you guys think that the snow in winter is really a very common thing. But I need to tell you that there's almost no snow in my city in winter. These are the two pictures I took in this January when I flew from Shenyang to Fuzhou. Shenyang is a Chinese northern city and you can see that in the left picture there are almost snow everywhere on the ground. But in Fuzhou, you can see that the trees are even green. That's because Fuzhou is located in the southeast of China and it's a typical subtropical monsoon climate. Here it is warm and humid, full of sunshine. The summer is long and winter is short, which leads to the tree almost remain green all year round. What's more, from July to September on average, typhoon come directly in the city twice a year. This is a picture I took last year before a typhoon came here. The land form of Fuzhou is astral basin, surrounded by many mountains. The elevation of the mountains are generally 600 to 1000 meters above sea level. The sky here is usually very blue and the sun shines brightly here. The best season to travel here is from April to November. Have you ever known the name of Lin Zexu and Bingxin? These famous people have their houses in this place. The name of this place is Three Lands and Seven Islands. It is a cluster of ancient resident buildings dated from late Jing Dynasty which is more than 1,000 years ago. It got its name because it ranges three lands and seven alleys. Many famous people had lived here, such as Lin Zexu, who led the destruction of opium at Humen, and many famous translators such as Bing Xin and Yan Fu. If you are interested in Chinese ancient buildings and cultures, you can visit. This is one of the most famous scenic spots in Fuzhou. You can have many authentic snacks here. For example, you can have fish bowl here. The authentic fish bowls are handmade, consisted of fish, tapioca, and pork. It is very delicious. Besides, Fuzhou also has many delicious foods. This is the most famous course, whose name is Fu Tiao Qiang. It is steamed abalone with shark's fin and fish mouth in broth. And the lychee meat and guo bian hu are really delicious as well. Cuisines here are relatively sweet and they focus on the freshness of its ingredients. After my introduction, are you attracted by the comfortable climate, the beautiful scenic spot, and the delicious foods here? If you are attracted by them, welcome to Fuzhou. If you come to Fuzhou, please contact me and I will provide you more details about this city and let you have fun here. So that's the end of this video. If you like my video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.